Hello friend, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CP Minutes video series on binary tree related problem series and this is about the symmetric binary tree. So if you see some binary tree and you have to find that whether that binary tree is symmetric or not, you have to see these things. You have to fold it from half and yeah, so uh, this is called foldable tree also. So sometimes the symmetric will not be there. They will call foldable binary tree. So it's similar. If you fold this binary tree from half from in between, then this two will land here, right? Three will go here and four will go here. So it is actually folding and falling correctly, right? It's like a mirror. You have kept mirror in between and then this reflection is exactly the same. So this is, yes, this is foldable or this is symmetric binary tree. Whereas if you see this one, if you fold this from half, this two will go here, but three will not go here. So this is not foldable. So first of all, you have to understand what is foldable or symmetric binary tree. So this is the difference. So again, as before going to the solution, I would strongly recommend you. So please stop this video and start thinking, how would you do that? There are a number of ways to achieve the same thing. And I have done with recursion. So let's look at the solution part now. So this is a starting function where you will call is symmetric and you will give the root node and if root is equal to is equal to null pointer or null you will return true meaning it is telling that a empty tree is also a foldable because it has nothing to do with that so it is always returning true fine if it is not null then we have to check so check symmetric so this is the main driver function and we are passing roots left and roots right as node 1 and node 2 the first value was this two and two okay because we hit we came from here two and two so two and two was passed here and then all these conditions did not met and we are going to go and hit this one now n1 left n1's left is three and two's right is also three see and two's right is three so now we are going to compare this one which is like now we'll have three here and three here okay because we are passing three and three from here now Similarly, you can see all these conditions will not met, will reach here. N1 left, N1 is this one and N2 is this one. Now N1's left is null pointer and, and N2's right is also null pointer. So this time we'll pass null pointer, null pointer will reach here and then this guy would hit true and it will return true. So true will come here in the first case. Now, as we have returned from first recursive loop kind of thing, because we hit the first time return and we reached here and then we will execute this line. So this line meaning still N1 is this only and N2 is this and we will go for right. See, N1's right and sorry, not this right. <laughs> yeah, so N2's left. So for folding, these two should match, right? So will again send null pointer and null pointer and similarly it will return true. So we have got two times true and then we'll see that okay, result one is also true, result two is also true, yeah, return true. So once we will return true from here, which is tailing part of your function and if I would have drawn a stack here, you know, how did we reach here? It was like two and two and then three and three and null and null. So we return back from this to here and then we did some operation here and then this full stack is also gone so we are going back and now we are standing here meaning your n1 is 2 and your n2 is 2 so we are basically standing here now because you went back due to this true okay so this is stack and you have to know this before learning all these things and I have a pretty good video on recursive thinking, like how you should think about the recursive functions. So please go and watch that video if you don't have so much grip in this recursion stuff. And you will get that video somewhere here. So now you are standing here, N1 and N2. And you know what? You reached, I mean, you went to this stack because of your first call, check symmetric. There are two calls, right? To self. So this was first call and there was another call. You have come back from here to here and here to here on first call. Now your first is completed with true. So you have true here 
and then second we'll execute now okay which is this one check symmetric n one's right n one's right is four and then n two's left which is again four and then you will call and it will create another stack i'll remove this for better understanding and we can have another stack four and four so four and four came here so if you're passing four and four here four and four will come here and nothing will execute from here it will hit this one so force left and force right is null pointer this will go for null and this will go for null so n and n it will hit this one it will return true will get true here and similarly for as you would have said null and null for first call and your second call is also waiting so that is also null and null because this first call is null for n1's left and n2's right so both are null right and similarly for four n1's right and n2's left they are also null and null i mean this, not this one they will be having another stack because you came back from here so, so that you can call the second one so this was the this is that stack and n1 and i mean null and null you will come back because this will hit true so now you are returning true here and you can check if result 1 and equal to true and result 2 is also equal to true you'll hit re return true here so now if you're returning true from here you are completing this full stack and you are going back from here to here and you remember this was second call meaning from here we called this value now rest is these many instructions to execute here so both return true this one also true true and this is also true okay these two so we are checking that if both are true we will return true so we will return true from here so this call stack is also gone now so and i'm so sorry this should be three uh, i just messed it up so when you're returning back from here your n1 and n2 both was standing here and then you return back with true and you will hit true here and this will return the value true i know this is little confusing and it's just because we have this recursion and that too not single recursion we have double recursion here so it is like but once you master recursion now it will be very easy for you to understand these kind of things and it is very intuitive if you see this no and once left so if this is your not this one this one and n2 this is n2 and once left and n2's right so n1's left is this guy and n2's right is this guy so we are going to check this one with this one and these two should be equal i mean not null equal all these conditions should hold fine for these two and another condition is your n1's right should be equal to n2's left so your n1's right which is this one should be equal to n2's left which is this one so can you see this it is equal so this is the logic actually initially it will come a little late but you know what helps always know what to do and how to do for different different problems like if you see this first time like you can have two recursion here now next time if something like this is coming in your mind in your way then you can find actually or at least reach to the solution part or at least touch upon that what could be the approach even if you don't come up with the actual terminating conditions and all but you know that okay how i will traverse and how i will actually break this whole tree and traverse here and here together so this is what it is right we did this in this practice we traversed here and here together with this and we were checking this one with this one and we went ahead we were checking this one with this one and we could have gone here and then here we are checking actually both the ways so if you encounter something like this in future then definitely this will hit your mind and let's look at the solution so if you see this and if i submit this this is exactly same code actually i came up with some another code and i was like let's optimize this i was trying to do some uh easy coding with recursion because <laughs> it could have been a little hard for beginners to understand if i'll keep these two code in and condition because see i'm not doing anything fancy here it's just the and condition of these two return so what i could have done is wait a minute i'll show you see 
instead of that many if and all i can just simply return from here by to and condition i mean by keeping all these instructions with and condition so this much code can go and i'll just simply return the and of these two but in order to explain all you the the simple way i kept it like this this was good right so i am planning to have so many programming questions like on binary tree and all sort of trees where i will cover all the interview related problems at least that's what i think i can cover yeah because <laughs> we don't know what interview will ask but we should be at least prepare ourselves so do check out the full link of your series i mean in the description field you will get the full series and just go through all the videos i think that would be more than enough okay uh, this is not going to work i'll make another robot oh, yeah okay so guys you can leave <laughs> thanks